The way elected leaders in Mobile get raises will not change. The council voted down the proposal at today's meeting. It was introduced by Fred Richardson, who says he hasn't had a raise in nearly two decades. Local 15's Andrea Ramey was at today's council meeting. Andrew, right now, council members have to vote on raises. That's right, Kim. And the way it's set up, they have to vote on them fairly close to the election. That's not so popular, so it doesn't happen. Richardson says instead, raises should be automatic. It is unfair to say that we have uh, more than 2,500 employees, that we will give them all a pay raise except eight of them. Those eight are the seven council members plus the mayor, who will not be getting the 2.5% pay raise when every other city worker receives it in January. It can happen only if the council voted in. The council can't vote again until 2017. I would have served 21 years on the council with the exact same pay. I truly feel we're adequately compensated. Council member Bess Rich, along with Gina Gregory and John Williams, all voted against the resolution. Rich said today it's a privilege to serve. I truly feel it's, it's like community service. It's like volunteerism. I, I just feel, again, it's public service and it's not about the salary at all. But others argued if you don't pay well, only the privileged will be able to hold office. I was just doing what I thought was the right thing to do. A council member is considered a part-time job, though many will tell you it's more like a full-time job. Total compensation is $32,500 a year. Greg.